We're just uh, here this morning for the installation of the Bay of Refuge, the final piece of the Maritime Trail. The piece is just going in now, celebrates the uh, Bay of Refuge, although it's called the Bay of Refuge, if the uh, wind is on the wrong, from the wrong direction, it can be tragic in the days of sail. The piece is, uh, celebrates John Taylor Alliston and his painting. There's a piece of glass that's yet to go in, into the panel. It's going in in a couple of days' time. Uh, it's held in with a fretwork which illustrates ships jostling in the wind and below it is the uh, shipping forecast, a gale warning and the shipping areas, uh, d defining all the areas that are uh, around Britain, uh, which reminds us that we're an island and we're very prone to the weather and the elements. Gentlemen, um, it gives me great pleasure today um, to uh, invite everybody here to see the unveiling of the second piece of artwork for the Maritime Heritage Trail. And what we're doing today is two things really. We're, we're, we're unveiling this wonderful piece of artwork by the sculptor Steve Carville, who we'll talk about it in a few minutes. And it's also really a launch of the new Maritime Heritage Trail again. We've already seen the opening of the Gansey Gel, but what you can now see with the trail is that the trail is fully interactive. And what I've got to say about this piece of work this, this wonderful new feature is how so many people have helped in so many different ways to put this together. Uh, there's been a group of people who work together in the, largely often in the Harbour Commissioner's offices. We've met um, all sorts of people. We've had the local studies library involved. We've had the Harbour Commissioners and the council who have played absolutely pivotal roles in, in, in taking this forward. <coughs> We've had uh, funding from um, from the, the Holderness Coast flag for the Fisheries Local Action Group uh, and, and all the people who have been involved in this have brought their own skills to it. People like Fred Walkington uh, have brought his vast knowledge to the project uh, but what's really been wonderful has been the collaboration where we've had people like Steve uh, Carville coming together and I've said I'm a historian, I've got these sort of ideas but what Steve does with my very simple ideas is he transformed them into something much more wonderful and then people like Fred would come in and say look you know we can do this particular thing with the work as well so what you've got really today on a very apt day for doing it <laughs> is the culmination of it where we're unveiling of course the Bay and the Harbour of Refuge. Five, Five four, three, two, one. 